So hey, do you wanna be able to create this video in text effect within Canva? Or how about this effect? And then there's this effect. Check out those creepy eyes. Well, if you wanna learn how to do this, stick around because you're about to learn how. So hey, I'm Dr. Craig Ingstrom, but you can just call me Craig because we're now social acquaintances. And in this quick Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the text effect that you see with the transparent Saluki's text with the video background. I'll show you how to create this effect, which you don't need any special techniques or things to do. It's all just based in Canva and to create this effect that you see, which is essentially this effect just with an image showing you this so that you can start to get creative. For example, you could obviously add text to this image and also create the effect where you have some video behind it. So not only the eyes, but the text as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing to note is the principle that you're working here is that I basically have an image and the image has the words transparent and that is on top of a video. So that's all you're working with in terms of principle. You don't need anything special. I will show you how to do this for free, but it is much easier if you do have the full version of PowerPoint and it'll make sense in a moment why that is. Again, I do have a free hack, so stick around. I will show you how to do that if you wanna to jump to that once you learn sort of the basic techniques because you don't have a full version of PowerPoint then I will have the timestamps in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll want to do is create a design. I'm going to create a video presentation, but you could create any type of presentation. This would work if you're trying to do a Twitter or Instagram post, for example, or a Facebook post. It does not matter. I just like the video presentation because I can work with the horizontal pages here or items. So what you're going to do is add some text. That's the first thing you'll want to do obviously, and in this case, we're just going to stick with Saluki's. Now you don't have to have it cap, but it definitely looks better cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make it all cap. And you'll want a typeface that has a lot of sort of density to it. So go over here and choose something like Horizon or Archival Black. Let's go ahead and do Horizon. And let's go ahead and drop this down to about 220 and let's see if it fits, it does not. Let's go to 210. There we go, it seems to fit pretty nice. Now, when we get to the hack that I'll show you, if you don't have PowerPoint, you will need to shrink it a little bit more, but I try to get it as much maximum space as I can. And of course, if you're working with words that could sort of break very nicely. So for example, if I could even get this bigger, the bigger, the better, but that would look maybe a little weird. So for this case, I'm just going to stick with that, okay? So now what you can do is change the color of this to green, sort of like green screen. Now in the PowerPoint version, it does not matter what color this is, but in the hack, it matters, I think, if it's green, it does help it out. Then you can change the background color to anything that you want. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and do black. Then I'm going to click download. I'm gonna choose PNG as the download and click it. Once it's downloaded and saved to your hard drive, the next step you will want to do is open up a PowerPoint. If you open it up and it has a lot of information here, looks something to the effect of that, all you want to do is say blank slide when you say create new slide, okay? And that'll get rid of all of that sort of garbage, okay? Now, once that's there, all I'm going to do is drag the image I downloaded onto the PowerPoint, close out the design ideas and go to remove background. This is going to be in picture format. Click remove background. And what I want to do now is to mark areas to remove. And if it's sort of this, I don't know if that's magenta or this purple color, that's what's going to be removed. And so it's taken out everything except for the K for some reason. So all I'm going to do is drag and get that removed, okay? But then it's also going to remove the background and we want that background to remain. So now I have to go to mark areas to keep. And this is where I just start saying, okay, keep all of these areas. It might take a little bit of time for you to get all of this done, but you just take this pencil and you drag and write as much as you can, trying to get PowerPoint to say, take away all of the text. And sometimes it'll start adding text on. It's quite annoying. But once you get sort of going, it'll start removing all of the stuff that you want out of that. You can see now we have a little bit here we want to remove, a little bit there we want to remove. Got to get rid of that. Got to get rid of that little one. Yes, got rid of it. Looks good. Get rid of the middle of the A there. Let's get rid of that. Why did it add that color back around the K and the I, I have no idea. Get rid of that. Oh, nice, there we go, all right, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is say, keep changes, 
And now what you have is basically a see-through letters. Now what I'm going to do is right click on this and save as picture. Picture five is fine. It doesn't matter what it's titled because you're just going to use it very quickly. Okay, so now I'm gonna head back over to Canva. I'm going to add a page. I'm gonna probably wanna change this to white just so that I can see what I upload. I'm gonna minimize that or kind of make it a little smaller so that I can just drag and drop the image into there, add that onto the slide. And you don't want it to take up the entire background because now what you're going to do is find a video. And by the way, you can see that I've done a lot of testing. I actually created this hack on my own. Maybe something exists, but I thought of this idea and then got to work to figure out how I could do it. it. Took me a while to kind of figure out how to do it best, but I figured it out and now I'm sharing it with you. And then what I used for the introduction was this one here. You can find any kind of background that you want. And then what you want to do is just put it in the corner and drag it over. Now there's been a few times where this is snapped to the background. So you might want to make it a little larger than the overall size of the canvas, but it's not necessary. And now it is ready to go. So if I go to present, you will see that it is playing now. So that is nice and neat and perfect. Let's close that out down there. Okay, so perfect. Just hit escape and see, you can see now that it's snapped to that background. So what I do usually is just hit control Z and it fixes that. So if you see it white, that means what it did is it took that top image and made it your entire background. So that's just something to be attentive to. Just hit control Z or undo and it'll make it correct. So now I can just play in here. So now that the play button's showing up and that is perfect. So very nice and neat. So the next thing is I said I would show you how to create this effect here. This one is actually really easy. All it is is a sort of visual effect that I created. So go back over to our creation. Let's create a new slide. What I went to is I found an element. I just typed in Saluki because that is the mascot of my university. I found this one. I put it on there. I found a video that I thought would look good. In this case, you want something that's going to have a lot of movement or visual effect. So I think I just typed in football or something like that. Yep, that was it. I brought it over onto this and then I just made it large. Center it up here. You can make it any size that you want, obviously. And then now click play. And you will see there's that visual effect of it moving. So anything that's sort of moving vertically or horizontal will create the effect that you want. You could see that in Instagram, this would be a pretty cool effect. Let's go ahead and go and look at how I created this one. I basically did the same thing. I put that dog onto a slide. I downloaded it. So here's the slide here, right? I put the dog on there. I changed it to the color of the university, maroon. Then I downloaded it. Then what I did is I said, remove, just like I did with the text. And I just selected the eyes to remove. That was the only thing that I removed. I saved the picture as brought the picture back in as an upload, as you can see here, without the eyes, okay? And then all I did was put this kind of laser video effect behind it, so yeah, that's it. So I don't wanna walk you through all those steps. It might take a little bit of time, but now you get sort of the principle on how to do it. Just a couple of things, and then I will get to that hack. So if you don't have PowerPoint, you can still create this. Do note that you can essentially now create that same effect in PowerPoint. Uh, once you've created that image that has the background, if you take a video, so let's go ahead and grab a video. I've already downloaded one from pexels.com. So let's take this video and then just drag it into PowerPoint. Let's put playback. Let's make sure that it is automatically. Let me zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to snap it into the center. Now what I'm going to do is to select send to back. Snap that back into place. And now when I play the video in the background, you will see that it's moving. So if I started the presentation, it would automatically start going. Okay, so that is how you do that. Now, let's assume that you don't have a paid version of PowerPoint, that is okay. There is a workaround for that. My recommendation would be to take this, make it a little smaller, because you're going to have to scale it up here in a minute. You'll see why, because at least the version I found adds a watermark. 
on the free version. I'm gonna put it a little higher because again, I'm gonna scale it out if I want it centered. If you don't want it centered, it doesn't matter, but I try to put it a little bit like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download Courses of PNG, just the first page. I'm gonna download that. Once it's downloaded, what I'm going to do is head over to a website called capwing.com and I'm going to just go directly to this URL and then it takes me to this green screen video editor and then I can click upload, find the image that I downloaded upload that it takes me to here and then what I'm going to do is use this magic wand I'm just going to touch and say remove touch remove touch remove once you're done click done you will now see that it's removed all of that I'm going to export image it's going to say, hey, you have to sign in to remove the watermark. Uh, I didn't want to create an account. You can sign in. Maybe you can still download for free. I don't know if they're going to charge you or not. But you can see that it creates a watermark there, which is why I said shrink it and put this because you'll see in a moment what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and download, save it, head back over to Canva. Let's go ahead and create a new design. Once it's uploaded, you can see we now have that background that is gone. We can check that out by going to a video. Just adding in one of the videos that I had. And now, like I said, what you're going to want to do is drag it so that it is larger than that image so that it crops out that watermark. And the limitation here is you are really sort of limited to then how you can sort of format and move things around. Let's go back to that. As you can see, Control Z, as I said, if it kind of makes it that white background. In any case, that is all you need to do to create that effect in Canva. So I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of those great things. If you would like me to show something else in the future, please do ask. I'm always happy to create these kind of tutorials to help you out in your journey. I'm all about creating great presentations, whether it's through public speaking or through presentation and slide design. Those often go hand in hand. So I look forward to having you watch a future video. And until that time, be sure that you have a great and wonderful day.